Do your bridal portraits need a little work, a little jazzing up, a little spicy? I got three tips for you to create better natural light bridal portraits. All right, everybody, welcome back to yet another video. Super excited. We just came back from Iceland and we were doing a bridal portrait session with a black church, very iconic black church. If you've ever seen uh, portraits from Iceland, they got these black churches literally all over the place. And so for us coming from the US, you see these black churches, they're kind of exciting to uh, photograph. Tiny though, I will tell you, very tiny. I don't know, uh, just maybe a lot of people in Iceland don't go to church or what, but like, I think you can fit like 20 people uh, in the church. But they are beautiful to photograph nonetheless. So we're on our location, we're photographing, it's windy, the sun's coming in and out, uh, it's chilly out, and we want to create these incredible bridal portraits. So you have to figure out how to work with each scene to be able to create the perfect bridal portrait. And sometimes the scene may not give you what you want. You may want to have your bride face a certain direction, uh, but it just may not be there at the time. You have to be able to work with uh, the scene, the sun, the light. So what I want to do is help you guys out, show you what we were doing here and give you inspiration on how to create a better bridal portrait. <laughs> Tip number one, find the scene, find the story, right? As a photographer, you wanna be able to tell a story with your photography. So as you're coming into a scene, don't just roll up and start taking pictures just because it's a beautiful church, beautiful bride, beautiful groom. You have to be able to tell that story uh, with the scene. So what is the story you wanna tell? So before you even take your camera, put your camera down, step away, okay? Put the camera down, look at the scene, absorb the scene, uh, and ask yourself, what is the story here I'm trying to tell? Is it the bride walking into the church? Is it the bride in front of the church? And this can be with your bride or, and or your groom, right? They can both be there. Or your bride and your bride, or your groom and your groom. You're telling a story, it doesn't matter. What is the story that you're trying to tell? So for this scene, we had a couple of stories we wanted to tell. We just had a bride and we wanted to have her standing in front of the church with that kind of church in the background. And then we wanted some portraits where she was kind of walking to the church uh, and uh, you know moving as, as then. So the story would be, right? She's heading to the church to get married, right? Maybe she's late for a wedding day. I don't know. You insert your story however you want it to be. But that's part of the story there versus she's just standing in front of the church, okay? So that's part of what we were trying to do. Great, story, check. What's next? Tip number two, find the light. This is the one part I see most photographers struggle with over and over again. It's square peg, round hole. We are not moving the sun. So if you are shooting in natural light, you've got to figure out where it's coming from. And if you don't like where it's coming from, tough. Can we say tough titties? Is that wrong? Can we say that? I don't think we can. Is it YouTube gonna block that out? I'm getting a thumbs up from my wife. She says it's okay, it's okay, tough titties. Wherever the sun's coming from, that's where it's coming from. So just gotta deal with it uh, and work around it. So now you've got a decision to make. Are they looking into the sun? Are they looking away from the sun? Are they backlit from the sun? Whatever, the, depending on the time of day, that sun is going to be in a different location and you're gonna be getting all sorts of different light. And we all know it can't show up uh, at sunset for the golden hour all the time. It just doesn't work that way. It'd be great if it did, but unfortunately it doesn't. So you've got to figure out where that sun is coming from and pose your couple appropriately, right? So remember, first step is figure out the story. What shot do we see? Comp when I say story, I'm talking about like composition. Where's the bride gonna be? Where, where's she walking? Where's the church in the frame? You gotta think through all this stuff. Once you figure that out, of course, now the light matters. You've gotta figure out the lighting situation. And since we're talking about natural light, we're talking about that sun, right? So where is it? How does it, and maybe it's open shade, maybe it's backlit, whatever it is, tell that story and light it properly, expose it properly, okay? Tip number three, and probably a very important tip as you're seeing in this video, find the wind. 
So there's nothing worse than a bride and her hair and it's blowing in her face. And if you have two people posing in that scene and one has long hair and the other doesn't, guess who wins? It's the person with long hair. You've got to have them looking into the wind uh, so that their hair is blowing away from them, not into their face. And, and closely related, especially for this bridal portrait, not only is the, the wind blowing into them, into their hair, it's blowing their dress and it's blowing their veil. You seeing the problem here? So if the light's coming from one direction and the wind is coming from another direction, those are not fun days. I hate those days, by the way. We're dealing with pure chaos there uh, because we're fighting the wind and we're fighting the light. We're not able to work within it. And in this particular shoot, we were able to work with both the light and the wind. I don't know if the Icelandic gods were shining down on us uh, to give us you know, the perfect image, but I think we nailed it. I hope you guys love the images you're seeing. Uh, but we were able to do that because we had a story to tell, we found the light, we're working with the light, we we're able to have her look into it. Pro tip, when you have your subject looking into the light, they're gonna squint, they're gonna make ugly faces. So the trick that we use with them is we tell them, relax your forehead. I feel relaxed, it's pretty relaxing right now. Close your eyes, get your expression right, right? You don't want them like this. That's not, that's not good. I can't even see myself, but I know it's not good. So relax your face, relax your expression, and I'm gonna give you a three count. One, two, three, open their eyes. They can at least give you one or two frames where they're opening their eyes and they're looking towards the light. So that's the trick, that's how we do it. That's how I did it on this particular photo shoot because she was looking directly at the light. So give that quick three count, pop, 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 reset. Close your eyes again, one, two, three, Pop, pop, pop. That tip alone uh, will ensure you get some good images, especially when you've got your subject looking directly into the light. So hopefully this video helps you out on your next photo shoot, gives you a little, little spicy sprinkle dust, right? Not, it's salt and pepper, a little salt and pepper, right? So we didn't go full Cajun spice, all seasoning. We didn't go crazy. We'll do that in another video. Let's give you a little salt and pepper so your images aren't so flat. Do something creative. Get out there, make some images. We'll see you in the next video. Yeah, uh, sorry, so sorry. We, that, this is new, channel's new, still figuring this out. Like, subscribe, comment, you know that whole thing. YouTube, like, subscribe, comment. If you like the video, help the video. You wanna see more videos, like, subscribe, comment, right? Give the bell a little ding, little ding, ding it. Ding the button, ding the bell, subscribe, notifications, do it, ding it. Like, subscribe, comment. This is, uh, this is how we store our microphones. Makes sense, zip one. I didn't like that opening. I think we need a different opening. I didn't like it. I felt like it did delivery. It could have been better. It's too condescending. I don't want to be condescending.